Here are the new updates to the app. We have the RDT timer as usual. Uh, you'll see that in a second, but I added more now. You can save it with your Rose profiles. The app has an espresso log now. You can save your espresso profiles and the brew and end time calculators are on a separate page. All right, here's the screen for the new timer. Up at the top where it says bean, you can put whatever bean it is. It's just a section for notes. So if you want to put like a Ethiopia, if you're roasting in Ethiopia, you're a chef, Aricha, you can type that in. You can put how many ounces you're roasting. You can put the date. You can add whatever kind of comments you want up there at the top. There is a spot now to add your preheat temp. So if you know you're going to preheat to 225, you can go ahead and record that. And when you're ready to start the roast, you can go ahead and click start. And the timer will start as usual. And when you feel like the yellow phase is getting close, uh, the beans are turning kind of yellow, you get a certain smell, you can go ahead and click the yellow phase button and it will record the time in which you did. And now when you are starting to hear some soft pops, you know your first crack's getting ready to start, so you get ready to click the first crack button. And here we go. And about right now, as pops are going. Once you click the button, you can see you get your roast development times, uh, just like before, stated down below to help you when you want to stop your roast. You notice where it has the mallard phase recorded, it has a yellow phase, it has a first crack recorded for you. And the live timer, uh, the roast development timer is started. So it keeps going live. And those ones below will let you know when to stop the roast. So if I wanted to stop my roast at around 21%, then I would know around 10 minutes and 10 seconds I should probably end the roast. And notice once it hits one of those percents, like the 16%, it will highlight in red and change the, from black to red. It'll also, if you have voice command on, tell you as well. And their 18% just got hit, so that turned to red. And it'll also, if you have the voice command on, tell you that it's at 18%. Okay, 20% is hit. I know that roast is gonna end soon. So I'm getting ready and I want to end it right about there, 21.1%. Once you do that, you can see the information below. It records your end time, the first crack, the mallard phase, yellow phase, and you recorded your preheat temp. And to calculate the um, percentage of weight loss, you just type in eight ounces. That was what we started with. And weigh your beans once they're nice and cool. And then once you plug that in, you'll click the calculate button and it will calculate the percent for you. Okay, so if we had eight and then 6.8 and we calculated it, it'd be a 15% weight loss. And once that's all done, you can save your profile now down at the bottom. You would click save profile. And it just saved it. So to access this, you just go back to the main menu and click the roast profiles. And you can see it up at the top. Um, if you don't want one, the red X, that's delete. So you just click it and just delete it. And if you want to write something, like change the information, you can click the pencil button and you can change those numbers. And if you want to just see it, you click it, and it'll show you the information right there. So now you have your roasts logged, and you can go back and visit them to see what you roasted last time if you want to try to duplicate one. Here is the espresso log part of the app. Up at the top, you can record the bean name or any notes that you want. And then you can record your grind size, your dose, your yield, brew time, temp, and down below, you can have notes on the shot, right below in that note area. You can keep your notes on the shot, like you ran fast, it's under extracted, sour, 
what to do next time to keep improving on the shot. And finally, once you get to a place or you're done for that day, you can save your profile and access it whenever you want. So I thought that would be a kind of a nice little app to have. The last feature of the app is the brew and end time calculators. For the brew ratio calculator, enter how much ground coffee and what ratio you want, and it will tell you how much water to use. I use this a lot with my AeroPress. For the development end time calculator, for the, this is for the basic coffee roaster. Enter first crack start time and what roast development time you want, and it calculates what time to end the roast. If there are any bugs or problems with the app, please let me know and I will let the developer know and we'll get those fixed right away. Thank you.